here inside the Smoothie King Center. 107-100 is your final score as the Pelicans hold on to knock off the number two team in the Eastern Conference. Alongside David Wesley, I'm Jen Hale. We got dozens of amazing cheering Pelicans fans pumped about this latest victory. It's good to get one on the home court here. Very important as we're counting down to the end of this season. David, what impressed you most about the Pelicans being able to pull this one out? Well, we've been talking all year about how they bounce back and after a, a difficult loss where they fought hard got back in the game took the lead and, and gave it away in the last three minutes tonight they had a time a chance to redeem themselves you know that last three minutes it was basically the same score that they lost to the other night they found a way to make the plays down the stretch to get the win that's what impresses me they were very solid in terms of ball security yes could get a little bit better from beyond the arc but that's all right they found ways to win they dominated the paint and a huge reason literally and figuratively for that. Jonas <laughs> Valanciunas, David, sometimes he hasn't been used a lot lately, but tonight his number got called in that first half and it certainly seemed like he responded. And, and I thought this would be one of the harder games to use him with Giannis being a downhill player. And he played well, he played great. And it all starts for me that Giannis gets a few touches early, gets a basket or two early. Um, even sees a double team early. That kind of gets his blood flowing, and then he's a tremendous Jonas. Double double tonight. 17, 10 rebounds. Get, get him the ball. 23 minutes, and he even sank a three. That yes. was fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, they were they were daring him to shoot, so we got a couple opportunities. But Jonas can do that. He can bring those bigs out of the paint so Jonas I mean so Zion can can operate definitely fun to watch and I know it was fun to call for Joel Myers and Antonio Daniels guys walk me through the anatomy of this W what were your impressions well Jen you talked about the defense that's the third highest scoring team in the NBA 121 points a game and anytime the Pels hold the opposition to under 110 they're now 33 and 6 so this team can score but it starts at the defensive end. And maybe going home tonight, maybe the lights on poor just will be synchronized. I hope. Because of this win. <laughs> because of this win. The defense today was, we talk about this all the time with this team, Joe. When they allow their defense to field their offense, completely different basketball team. Right? Herb Jones getting blocks, getting steals, getting deflections, and that's contagious. Right. Right? And now you can get out in transition, you get some easy baskets, the crowd gets involved, and that whole playoff intensity feel it's in the blender. Yeah, I like what you said about Herb, though, because Herb really was the catalyst of the first half. And that's why the Pels were up by 16 at the break. But then down the stretch, you want to get to the basket. You also want to get to the free throw line. And Z had 11 points and got to the line in the fourth. Again, at, at, after the Oklahoma City Thunder game, when he was on the postgame, doing his postgame press conference, he said, I need to demand the ball more. The way I took that, because the ball was in his hands, is right. I don't need to demand it more. I need to be more aggressive when I have it. And that's exactly what he did tonight. And again, you see him in different areas here, moving without the ball. And this is a testament to Willie Green and that coaching staff. Moving Zion all over the floor, Brooke Lopez and Giannis Antetokounmpo tried to build a wall against Zion all night. They didn't stand a chance. Well, a couple of things that we touched on briefly, but the game was so intense in the second half, we didn't get back to it. Pels had only seven turnovers. That's their fewest in a game this year. They only got two points off those seven turnovers they gave up. That's also the fewest this year. So they played a clean game, and it was required because Milwaukee can play with anybody right now, and you know that. You're going to win a lot of basketball games if you don't turn that basketball over. If you take care of that ball, especially down the stretch, you and I have talked about this numerous times. The Achilles heel for this team has not been minute one through minute 45. Right. It's been minute 46 through minute 48. <laughs> right. right. And tonight, from minute 46 through minute 48, they did a great job of being intentional in where they wanted the ball to go. And then once Zion had that ball in his hands, attacking that rim and guys hitting big free throws down the stretch right. as well. You always talk about get inside the paint. Right. Please get inside the Break paint. Break the paint. And, and between between the six-minute mark and three-minute mark, when it got a little dicey and it got down to five and it got down to six, it was stagnant. It stayed out. Once they made the extra pass, got it in, guys made good decisions. So, Jen, a night we won't forget with only eight, nine games to play and back to 17 games over the 500 mark.
definitely a sweet victory, guys. Great job on the call. Thanks for joining us here on Pelicans Live. Z finishing with 28 points, David, on 9 of 15 shooting, 10 of 16 from the free throw line. Love that he actually got a few calls. Well, you know what? Yes, it's nice that he got to the free throw line and he struggled middle-ish part of the game where he missed a lot of free throws. The great thing is he hit him down the stretch, and that's the most important thing. Shot him well. They handled clutch time so well tonight, which was very good to see because that has been a, a problem in, in previous games and without Brandon Ingram. There's a bit of an adjustment curve. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's definitely an adjustment curve, and, and it's going to look different without B.I. in the lineup, but they have the pieces out there to get it done. They proved it to themselves tonight. Now it's just about rinse and repeat. <laughs> yeah, when Dame hit that three at the end, I was like, oh no, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> but they were able to hold him off. Let's take a look at your FanDuel final stats. The tail of the tape, how this one unfolded. David, when you run down that list, what pops out to you? Well, you heard uh, Joel and AD talk about the seven turnovers. Yeah. You're gonna get. You're gonna win a ton of games, a ton of games when you turn the ball over seven times. Seven times, and with the talent on this team, if they keep having possessions after possession where they can get shots and not and not throw it in the in the stands, yeah, that that that's gonna jump off the page and only two points off those seven. And don't beat yourself. Right. Especially at home. All right. We gotta talk about the Greek freak, right? Giannis Antetokounmpo once again. He put up. Plus 30 points on the Pelicans. That is the eighth consecutive time he's done that versus New Orleans. But the Pelicans won tonight, so it doesn't matter. 36 points for Giannis, 14 rebounds. David, just night in and night out, he's so consistent. He, he, he's so difficult. And, and I know most of the people at home were saying, just back up and, and, and not let him get to the basket. That is next to impossible to do. And as you're watching the game, you're thinking of ways that, hey, he should have moved over here. He should have did this. He's that good. And he's doing it to everyone in the league. He is, he is the top scorer in the league because of his ability to crush the paint and finish at the basket and and the pelicans did a wonderful job in that first half and then he got it going that third quarter i think he scored 20 20 straight for the for the for the milwaukee bucks he came out of halftime ready to play but yeah. not enough to propel the bucks to a win cj mccollum was a man on a mission all night david you called it you said playing against his bestie dame lillard it's so weird to see them in different uniforms still. I had to stop myself from saying Portland when I was talking right. about Dame <laughs> earlier in the game. Now, uh, Dame did leave. He had to get a, his lip stitched up, but he came back, finished the duel versus his, his bestie, C.J. McCollum tonight. Do you think he's grown? Do you think he's getting some good reps with B.I. out, having to shoulder more of a shooting load? Absolutely, but you want him to be fresh. You know, I wish B.I. was here down the stretch so that they could play together. Uh, you don't. Flirting with the triple-double. Yes, he it is. certainly worked. All right, you know Willie Green is pleased with tonight's victory. We needed this one on the homestand. One and one now on this six-game homestand. Let's check in with Coach and get his thoughts on tonight's W. What's that saying where you guys, you know, only made eight threes and you're still able to beat a, a really good team like that? Yeah, um, we're, we're super grateful and uh, really just thanking God for this victory and this opportunity to coach this team. That was a gutsy win on our home floor. And um, like you said, it, it was a good defensive performance by us. We played with force from start to finish. Even when we couldn't hit shots, we, we, we still continued to make winning plays. You guys went to that, that zone, I think, in the second quarter. Just what was your kind of take on, on how that helped you guys tonight? It's helping us big time. It allows us to not be in as many rotations. Um, they can't seek out matchups. And it, it, it's kind of throwing teams off their rhythm. Z so got the free throw line 16 times tonight. What do you think about him just you know, attacking over and over again? Z's been amazing. Um, night in and night out, he is putting the team on his shoulders and he, he's, he's carrying us. And um, he's guarding, he's rebounding, he's making simple plays to his teammates. The guys are rallying around him. Uh, collectively, it, it, it was a big time effort.
precious love that starts their loud Love longing for our union then Love my fragrance so captive seeing You close to me I lose myself Never thought I would find love like this Never thought I would be waiting Move your body, let your spirit soar Ella, your Adam, move your body